Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I want to show you guys how to remove the cow, the little um, cow part that's underneath your windscreen on your Jeep JK. Now this might be a little bit different from the newer Jeeps but the process is pretty much the same because Jeep makes it very easy to kind of remove and replace your parts. So there might be a couple reasons you might want to get under here to where um, your windscreen motor and stuff like that is when you the motor for your windscreen wipers might be broken you need to replace it you might need to gain access to one of the vents under there you might find a little bit of rust you might need to run some wires for some lighting whatever reason might be i'm going to show you today to remove this little cow part um on your jeep jk it's very easy it'll take less than 10 minutes if that to remove it uh, there are a few things you'll need the first thing you'll need to do is remove your windscreen wipers now we've done a separate video for that last week so if you just go to the video just up here you'll find that video very easy video it's a five minute video on how to remove your window wipers from your jeep jk now that's done you can get on to removing the two four six bolts that you'll need to remove to actually remove the cow part from your jeep jk now all you'll need is a to remove your windscreen wipers you'll need a 30 mil um 13 mil socket and a ratchet very easy straightforward and to remove these four bolts at the end of the cow part is a T30 Torx bit and a ratchet. Very easy and straightforward. Um, and for the two bolts underneath your bonnet here that's going to be holding this sort of section on here, um, our ones are actually broken. So I don't know what was used to remove them or what's been lost. Um, but I'll show you exactly what they are. So you'll just have to check what size they are on your Jeep. I think they are the little plastic pins. Um, that's why they are lost or broken they were like that when we bought the jeep so not 100% sure what size they are so I'll show you where they are located so you guys can find that for yourself now since the window wipers have been removed we can go ahead and remove the four bolts on the outer side with the T30 Torx bit now if this is your first time taking them off I'd recommend a little bit of WD-40 a lot of rust and corrosion can build up underneath these cowl parts especially with the window wipers and these bolts um, because salt just gets hammered and it's a flat surface so a lot of salt water salt debris whatever if you're driving on the beach or if somewhere that snows can sit under here so just spray a little bit of WD-40 either on top or underneath and just let it soak in most of the time they're very easy to undo Now pop those in a safe location. We'll go over and do the other two. Now we're removing these two bolts, um, two on the outside, the four bolts. Just be careful not to strip them because there is a little thread inside this that's just attached to um, a little lip on this part here. So just go easy, make sure you don't run them off or strip them because they could be a pain in the ass to get out later. Now you've got those two bolts, four bolts out, you can go ahead and pop your bonnet, which is the two latches on the outside. One, two, pop your bonnet up. And you'll see just here there's one, two. Pretty sure these two are the same clips as to hold these plastic parts down on your radiator. Just one, two, pretty sure they are. So just go ahead with a flathead screwdriver and pop those. So just pop your bonnet and you'll see the two little black clips that are hanging down is attached to the white cowl part there. Now the bonnets, now you've done those two, close your bonnet. So now those two clips just here are done. All you can do is lift your cowl part up. Now I like to slide mine forward to get past the actual window wiper motors there. And done. So all I had to do was slide forward, kind of tilt it back a little bit, just to get away from those. Now that's off, pretty much done. So there's a few reasons, so there's a few reasons why you want to be careful. All it is is these little tabs here that's holding those bolts on. So you can replace them, but they tend to rust out and strip. Like that one's starting to rust out there, that one's fine, and the two there are starting to rust out as well. 
You can see a lot of water and debris builds up behind this. So what we're going to do now to prevent any other corrosion. So it's a good idea to grab a little bit of Wizard Juice WD-40. Give it a little spray into those components. Might have to give it a good spray. Love WD-40. Anyway, so give it a good spray. Soak that shit in. Just let it sit there. That way when you put it back together, anyone to take it off next time when something else happens, your job will be a lot easier. So we're going to let that soak in and we pretty much took it off to replace those stickers that are on that little cow belt. Still reaching over and all that sort of shit. But it's also a good idea to give it a good clean, remove any loose dirt, stuff like that, that may prevent rust in the longer term. So happy days. So that's pretty much it for today guys. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. If it's helped you, please let me know. If not, well, then it was pretty much a useless video. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.